We have made it the first day of March in the year 2024. Good morning, TGIF. I'm DeAndre Hamilton. This is the Morning Edition, a magnetic media production. Moving money from one site to the next. Lots of cash transactions make you vulnerable. Need eyes on your investments no matter where you are. Are you looking for professional security escorts for your high net worth guests? Want to support Neighborhood Watch with skill patrols? Sounds like you need security solutions at Spence Security Services. Established in the Turks and Caicos since 1998. Get armored truck escort services from $150 and contact Spence Security for free consultation dependable professional service you can trust that's spent security it appears that no one will be held responsible for those 2017 rapes kidnappings firearms charges and other offenses against mainly women in providentialis after the court of appeal last october and again yesterday quashed convictions of the two men police arrested and charged. Now freed since October 19th is Andrew Parker and as of yesterday, February 29th, Chavez Musgrove. Both men had been facing 25 years in prison when they were found guilty of the heinous crimes. According to court correspondent Wilkie Arthur, their attorneys argued ardently that there were mistakes made in the trial by then Justice Carlos Simons KC and evidence was missing following a fire, possibly arson at the Chalk Sound Police Station, which gutted the evidence room, and that meant the two were unfairly convicted, said their attorneys, Sheena Mayer for Musgrove and Lara Maruf Mizik for Parker. The Court of Appeal made the decisions for both men and also did not order a retrial of those men. Updates on the ongoing success of the Destination Marketing and Management Organization were the main theme of a February 29th press conference from the Ministry of Tourism, led by Minister for Tourism, Josephine Connolly. I am pleased to announce this morning that we have filled the key roles, such as our Chief Marketing Officer, our Chief Finance Officer, our Strategic Development Manager and Executive Assistant, to the CEO. Alvin Hagner, co-chair of Experience Turks and Caicos, maintained that the upgrades would have to be made in order to keep tourism success going. We strive to continuously elevate the quality of tourism offerings. Gone are the days where we can just rely on Grace Bay Beach. We have to go beyond that. In closing, Hagner warned residents not to stand against something just because it wasn't their idea and promised that Experience Turks and Caicos would succeed. We have to become business owners. We have to share the wealth, and this experience TCI is going to spearhead this change. It's news in the morning edition. Magnetic Media, the power of attraction. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such a wholesome variety of your favorite fresh food. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such outstanding service. And there is simply nowhere else in the TCI to answer your every food craving in a chic, comfortable, centrally located store. That's a place you can trust. Number one is Graceway IGA. Fresh service trust for over 20 years. Police say they are actively investigating the attempted armed robbery that left residents shocked a week ago. Based on initial police investigations, the incident occurred at approximately 7.48 a.m. last Friday in the Coral Gardens area. Police confirmed the use of a blue Honda to block and allow the attack on the white Kia Seltos mini SUV. Head of Crime, Safeguarding and Public Protection, Superintendent Dean Holden, in responding to magnetic media questions, said this disturbing event is a stark reminder of the importance of community vigilance and the disregard criminals have for life. Based on the footage, the perpetrator attempted to open a white Kia Seltos mini SUV while a blue Honda blocked the vehicle's path. This was an orchestrated attempt and thankfully no one was injured, he said. He added that they are actively investigating the case and pursuing all leads to apprehend the perpetrator and his accomplices. No arrests have been made as yet. Magnetic Media with news online anytime, magneticmediatv.com. Everyone can now pay online with the National Health Insurance Board. Employers, self-employed, students, voluntary contributors, or even pensioners making contributions for their dependents. Simply visit nhip.tc. Register for the e-services, submit your calculator, and pay directly through our e-services portal. Payments are easier with the National Health Insurance Board. Building a healthy nation, one person at a time. 
On Monday, February 19th, in the Chief Magistrate's Court, three accused appeared for unlawful entry to the Turks and Caicos Islands. They reportedly entered the country on February 3rd. Sonny Belzer was sentenced to time served with deportation recommended. 40-year-old James Kanat was also sentenced to time served. The third defendant, 29-year-old Mackinson Jean, got six months imprisonment with deportation after completing the term at the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Weather today in the Turks and Caicos Islands, sunshine and clouds mixed early, 79 the high, mainly cloudy tonight with 73 the low, rain chance low at 4%, and tomorrow partly cloudy with Sunday, boasting a high of 80 degrees. That does it for the morning edition. Thank you for joining us. We're back at midday with more top stories.